Hey, what's up guys? Andrew here. Today we're taking a look at the HP Stream 11 2016 edition. This is one of the most popular budget notebooks on the market, so let's take a look at the new edition. Let's go and break down the specs. You're getting an Intel Celeron N3060, 4GB of RAM, which is a big increase compared to last year's, which only had 2 gigs, an 11.6 inch HD panel, 32 gigs of eMMC flash storage, and the retail price is $199. Oh, by the way, you also get one year of Office 365 for free. The design of the 2016 HP Stream 11 is pretty clean and basic. However, this year's model, you got these horizontal stripes going across. This is the aqua blue color, and the weight comes in at 2.57 pounds, and its thickest point is 0.71 inches. Here's a better view of the horizontal grooves I was talking about earlier. Overall, it adds a really clean look to this notebook. The interior of this laptop is almost identical to last year's model, however you get these horizontal stripes towards the bottom, which looks pretty similar to the HP Pavilion line of laptops. On the left side you got a full size HDMI, USB 3, micro SD card slot, and your charging port. On the right you got your Kensington security lock slot, USB 2, headset microphone jack combo, and your power status LED indicator. Next up let's take a look at the screen quality. This is rocking 11.6 inch HD display, which gives you a resolution of 1366 by 768. This is a TN panel, so the color accuracy is poor, just like the other budget laptops. The Spider 4 Pro reported 56% of sRGB and 42% of Adobe RGB. Again, these scores are very poor. Side to side viewing angles were decent, however, if you're tilting from the top to bottom, the viewing angle starts to get very limited. Also, the screen brightness was decent. I was getting around 227 nits, which is good for indoor use and low for outdoor usage. You do get 32 gigs of eMMC flash storage, however out of the box you're left with around 15 to 16 gigabytes free. The read and write speeds are decent, however it's not up to par like a regular SSD, however it's faster than the traditional 7200 RPM hard drive. Thankfully you do have a micro SD card slot for expandability. This year's performance from the HP Stream 11 has been much improved compared to last year's model, thanks to the 4 gigabytes of RAM and the faster and more efficient Intel N3060. Whether you're browsing the web, watching YouTube video clips, or working on some homework, or even some word processing, this new chip runs more efficient and it will get the job done. This laptop features the HD Graphics 400. With this chip, you can expect to play light duty games like Minecraft and League of Legends on low settings. Here's a quick test of Minecraft. I'm getting around 40 to 55 frames per second. However, some scenes will dip to around 17 to 25 frames. FYI, I am using the Optifine plugin to achieve these results. I'll put a link in the description for more info. This is a fanless laptop so it runs whisper quiet. It also runs pretty cool and efficient. During my test, I didn't have any excessive temperatures. Let's go and test out some day-to-day -day operations on this laptop. Let's go ahead and launch the Edge browser. See how long it takes. It takes a couple of seconds to load up. So far, still loading up the main page. And boom, we're done. So it took roughly 10 seconds from launch to finish. Now let's go ahead and launch New York Times and see how long it takes to load up. I'm gonna type it in here. Boom, let's go. Still loading, and we're done. Again, that's a decent time for this processor. The trackpad is super sensitive. Sometimes the tracking will skip when you press down softly. However, two finger scrolling and multi-touch was on point. Among all the $200 laptops, this keyboard is my favorite. The key spacing is good, key travel is great, and the overall typing experience is excellent. The webcam on this laptop is horrible. I was hoping for an HD webcam upgrade, but maybe we'll have to wait until next year. The sound quality from these two bottom facing speakers are actually decent. Here's a quick sound test in action. This laptop features a 2 cell 37.69 watt hour battery pack and you can expect around 6 to 8 hours out of full charge with medium screen brightness. You can probably stretch it out a little longer with just web browsing, however during my test I was using a web browser, word processing, YouTube and Netflix videos. Last but not least, this is a pretty big upgrade in my opinion. This year you get the Intel Dual Band Wireless AC7265 which is a 2x2 wireless card with Bluetooth 4.0. Last year's model had the AC3165. Let's get to the conclusion of the 2016 HP Stream 11. This laptop offers adequate performance for light productivity schoolwork. And if you tweak some of your settings, you can even run some light duty games like Minecraft and League of Legends on very low settings. This year's model is a big upgrade compared to the 2015 model because of the 4 gigs of RAM and the slightly faster Intel N3060. For $200, I highly recommend this laptop. You can also upgrade to the 14 inch model with the same specs for $219. Alright guys, this completes my full review. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to smack on the like button and don't forget to sub. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.